What's going on guys, this is Snoob603 from Shoostybang, and welcome to the 14th episode of my Battlefield 4 weapon reviews. In today's video, I'm going to cover the UMP45. The UMP45 is available for the Engineer class only, and to unlock it you need to earn 11,000 points with PDWs. A little bit of weapon info for you, the country of origin for the UMP45 is Germany. It can fire in either semi-auto, burst, or fully automatic. It has a lower than average rate of fire at 600 rounds per minute, and it fires the 45 caliber ACP rounds. The ammo capacity is 25 rounds plus one in the chamber, with reload times of 1.85 seconds with at least one bullet chambered, and 2.5 seconds when you run the magazine completely dry. The damage for the UMP45 is a little unique with a higher than average close range damage rating of 34 hit points of damage per bullet out to 8 meters, but it trails down to a minimum of 15.4 hit points of damage per bullet out to a lower than average 40 meters. The recoil stats are lower than average horizontally with 0.2 degrees of recoil pulling left or right and a slightly higher than average 0.4 degrees of vertical recoil. Looking back on how the UMP45 was in Battlefield 3 and comparing it to how it is in Battlefield 4, I was happy to see that there was no changes to this gun. It actually was my go-to gun as I transitioned from being a console gamer to a PC gamer during Battlefield 3, as I found it to be very stable due to the low rate of fire, but the high damage output really allowed it to hold its own. The UMP45 is quite simply a close quarters beast. Without a doubt, its number one strength is the 34 hit points of damage out to 8 meters, making it a 3 hit kill weapon, which is complemented by the lower than average reload times. In both BF4 and BF3, I feel that DICE did a really good job of balancing it out by keeping the magazine and therefore the overall ammo available to you lower than average, and giving it the lowest bullet velocity out of the PDWs. Put that all together, and what you have is a gun that's truly ideal for close quarters engagements. The low bullet velocity isn't as big a factor when dealing with short distances. The high damage is extremely beneficial if you get the first shot off, and the low reload times get you back in the action as fast as possible. It's basically a high risk, high reward kind of gun. That's really good for people that have pretty good aim. The only real downside to this gun is that it's not the greatest for long range engagements due to the slightly higher than average vertical recoil. That, and if your aim isn't all that great, then the low ammo capacity may actually be a problem for you. Personally, I feel that I can take the UMP45 with me in any game mode. It's a shame that it's for the engineer class only, as there are some maps and modes that I really prefer to play as assault or support, but it's not a deal breaker for me. In Rush, I can play up close to the MCOMs and put people down fast, or in Conquest, it works great for working the outside areas of capture points to take out the mid-range supporting players. In Obliteration, I like using it when playing defense on a bomb site or escorting a bomb carrier, and TDM and Domination are essentially nothing but close quarters fighting. My preferred setup for the UMP45 is the HD331 x sight, a laser sight, the suppressor or muzzle brake, and the ergo grip or vertical grip. Like I said, this gun is great at close quarters engagements, so I want to get the most out of this weapon for that specific role. I'm going to give the UMP45 a 4 out of 5. The obvious and only real downside is that it's not a great gun for long range engagements. The slightly high vertical recoil, low mag capacity, and frightfully slow bullet velocity really take away from its long range effectiveness. What little it lacks in that area though, it more than makes up for in close quarters engagements. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up today's weapon review, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the review, I ask you please check out my other videos as I do more than just these weapon reviews. I want to thank Simthic.com for supplying the information on these weapons. Last but not least, please like and share the video, I always love to see the support from you guys, it really helps out a lot. Thanks everyone, I'll see you all in the next video.